when did you all fall in love with each other? Because fans are kind of obsessed with the fact <laughs> that you guys are such good friends now. We are. Nice We're such good friends. Friends, lovers no more. <laughs> We're friends not like before. <laughs> Why does this work so well with you guys together? It's a mystery, I think. Yeah? It starts with the double J. Why does anybody fall in love? Why do birds <laughs> suddenly, suddenly appear? appear? Every, Every time, time you are near. <laughs> are we like going to do this whole interview like a musical? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Jonathan, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, throughout this press tour, mm. the fans have, have noticed about this ability that you have to like look at someone, to look at anybody who you're talking to and make them feel like they're the only person in the room. Damn like they're man. the only person that matters. Yeah, there's so many people. Were you aware that you had this power over people? Um, well, no, I mean, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> the voice is gone. He's shy. Um, shy. I am shy. Yeah, I wonder, I just think, um, I don't know, I've come, come from a big family and it was always quite loud, so I always had to really focus. Zero in? I think I like to sort of lip read and yeah, but it goes further than that. Does it do that for you when he looks at you? You're just like, nobody else matters. You can't escape it. You no. Know? He looks at, we had dinner whole... last night. We were separated at dinner last night, and I was. It was hell. It was hell. I was trying to find his you eyes were... to move with mine. Oh, yeah. Make the world go away. <laughs> That's what you feel when he looks at you. <laughs> this is going to be that kind of I'm day. Blushing. I'm so it's going to be that. Okay, well, I'm... I mean, can you give me one of those looks? Watch this. Get ready. Gird okay. yourself. I don't know what they are. You, okay, you're doing it right now. You can't help you're it. You're doing it right now. You can't help it. Uh, well, I don't know what to do now. I'm melting. Oh, yeah. Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? Them peepers. Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get those eyes? <laughs> hey, there's My another song. Ma, he's making eyes at me. Ma, et cetera, et cetera. I'll, I'll stop. You said no, stop me before don't. I sing again. I'm just farther out. It's going to lead you right to me. I think we've all gotten bit by the bug. When I watch the movie and I'm listening to Cynthia and Ariana, like, of course, they bring the house down. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Honestly, like, it's ridiculous. Cynthia Erivo, Ariana Grande. When the first time you guys heard them sing live on stage, do you remember and what was that like? I did, yeah. Well, I, the, I my, my first set that I arrived in was The Enchanted Forest, mm. and it was Enchanted and enchanting by name and nature because Cynthia was singing I'm not that girl and um, it was uh, yeah it's peculiar you know she had the, there were birds have you heard about the birds in the sound stage that would oh, yes, only yes. sing when she sang and the what? moment that she finished singing the birds would stop no yeah we haven't talked about it, but I did hear about that well she has a this incredible much like Elphaba relationship with animals mm -hmm. and nature but yeah there, there, there were these on the huge sound stages you usually have I suppose sort of pigeons and exotic sort of birds. Yeah, we're just <laughs> about those parakeets yeah. from uh, Southwest London, and um, and she would sing, and they would start chirping alongside her, and then when she would finish, they would too. Oh but also at the same time as when she would sing, you would have you know 500 crew members just yeah. stopping in their tracks, and and uh, you'd see a grown, sweaty, khaki, short-wearing man brought to tears. Imagine then, it if you a, will. Close your eyes. Just in a simple minim. <laughs> Am I right? And a simple minim? Minim. Minim. That's a two-beat note. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, that's so interesting. I'm just learning that. We have a British teacher for our kids, a piano teacher. Oh, yeah. And I always learned, you know, half note, quarter note. Oh, that's and right. And she's crotchet, minim, minim, if you know what we're talking and about. And semi-brief. And semi, yes. I didn't know that you knew that. Mm. Yes, yes. And that was, it was the first to me this year. That's right. Did those girls, like, help you guys get comfortable, like, in your own onset singing, like, yeah. yeah. One hundred and ten percent. Hey, by the way, everybody should stop doing that. It's only a hundred percent. I'm uh, with you. Pete Rose started that. I'm I with give one hundred and ten percent, and now it's one hundred forty percent. Look, it's a hundred percent. Can't get more than that. No, Just <laughs> cut it out. I'm right there with you, Jeff. <laughs> yes, Goldblum. those girls helped us one hundred and fifty percent. One hundred and fifty. Something bad is happening in Oz. The best way to bring folks together is to give them a real good enemy. What do you 
you guys remember though, because we're in Munchkin land now, what do you remember about that first time you stepped on to Oz? Amazing, I felt like I was tripping, tripping my, my patoot off. John M. Chu, his name should ring out like a bell all over the cosmos, he's just a master. As he, did, he did it all, and Nathan Crowley was the genius in charge of the production design. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And yeah. it is like you've you heard, I'm sure many times, you know, not CGI'd or so, they planted nine million real tulips, oh et cetera, God. et cetera. So when you go on, it's, you know, you're touching, smelling, and all of the senses. You taught <laughs> me a couple other senses <laughs> that, <laughs> what was that? I had never used oh, before, that were fun. dormant <laughs> until I met B Bailey, but you know. Awakened. There is no fight we Why is it you're always causing some sort of commotion? I don't cause commotions, I am one. Yeah. I feel like landing this role was like a dream for all of you. Am I am I off beat at all? No, I think you're no? right on the beat there. Is there another time in life though that you, because I believe in manifestation, is there another time in life or in your career that you felt like you have manifested something oh God, to really question. happen? What do you think? Well, I think we both manifested um, uh, all of it, I, you know. When I, I, you know, I told you I used to write on my shower, "Please, God, let me be an actor." Yeah, so, and then you would wipe it off. And then I'd wipe it off because I wanted she to keep want it. But it was a deep fire pit of, you know, a vision and a, and a hope and an aspiration. Now, a lot of people Amazing. have that, so, you know, I don't know that there's any rabbit's foot here, but somehow, maybe, maybe it's true that I magnetized something that eventually came to pass. I believe it. Okay. I believe it. Well, I'm with you. There's, some, you, there's some sort of magical quality and nature around how this film was made. They were asking me to send a tape and I was doing a play in London and I was squealing for my life on stage and so I didn't have my um, my dulcet tones <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and they just said just put something on tape and, and uh, yeah so I you know it was all very sort of magical I think. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the other connection that you all have as well. Have you spoken about the dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. No, we haven't talked much about it. You haven't given him advice on how to act opposite a T-Rex? Advice? How would I possibly <laughs> be able to give him advice? No. Must go faster. I'm sitting at his feet and learning how it's done in the new, you know, in the new era. No, I drink you know. in every moment I have with Jack. Any way to convince him to return for the new film? Oh, listen, of course. That's number one on the uh, on the agenda of the press tour. You're kidding, I, <laughs> I'm available at a moment's notice. Who's, who for says any, he's not? Who, who says he's not? Oh no, not true, not true. Oh please, I just want to walk on one one I want line. To walk on. This wicked. Witch. Don't be afraid. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. Since we've been singing this whole time, give me a line to take me out. Okay. Take me out to the <laughs> ball game. <laughs> Me out to, I can turn any conversational moment <laughs> into can. a jukebox. I musical. can dig it. You're Music. a man after my own heart. In fact, we could learn that routine. How about that? Uh, I, yeah, steam I heat. Know. Or, or what? Who's got the, yeah, got I'd, the, I'd love to do when that. You go the, yeah. I love it. I love you He's guys. He's a ballet dancer. I love you. Wait, you're ballet. I'm, Don't I'm, tell I'm, me, Jeff Goldblum. Not, not only are we ballet dancers, but I'm a belly dancer. <laughs> I can do, watch this. I won't show it with my oh, shirt exposed. I can but, see it. But I can, I, I can do that. When he puts the bell on his belly button piercing, <laughs> you can really hear it as well. <laughs> yes. I, In fact, the, this morning, we yes, both had porridge. I can play silver bells we both had on my belly button. And, I, and he came and brought his oatmeal to me on point on his shoes. <laughs> and the bell was just I did. ringing out loud. And much, was, like, <laughs> much like the message of John Chu being. <laughs> I don't know what anybody is going to do with the two of you, but thank you, thank you guys so much. Lovely.